Today, I'm going to do access cavity preparation of maxillary central incisor. This is again your cingulum and your lingual fossa. I'll be starting the drilling just below the cingulum. So I'm now using number four rounder. Okay. Still drilling on it and spear not that far. Okay. Now the entire round burr is now getting in. So I want to change my round burr into a smaller one for my drop in. Okay. Okay, I just dropped in, okay? So once you have dropped in you have to do an outward stroke. I have not used here the long shank rounder because anyway, this is only maxillary anterior. Okay, so I'm going to unroof with an outward stroke. Make sure you do not touch the labial wall because that will create a gouge. So everything, if you feel the touch, you just remove it. Now, I have partly unroofed. I have changed my round burr into a long shank now because I want to take out this lingual shell. Again, with an outward stroke, you just go in and out. The purpose of removing the lingual shell is that so that you will have a straight line after. After I have removed the lingual shell, okay, here, so I now change my round burr into a long tapering fissure burr so that I can do the finishing of the walls. I'm not touching the incisal edge. In this one, it should be away from the incisal edge. So you have to make sure that it doesn't touch. And then I'm just going to polish. And when I do this, I don't want to be touching also the labial wall because in real two that will leave the labial area unsupported meaning you have removed dentin okay this is now the completed axis of maxillary central incisor